This video was created in a collaboration with the Mega Gaming. He makes awesome content. Be sure to check out his amazing content. Link is in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to JPL Chess. In today's video, we are going to continue the series of KID or the King's Indian Defense. Today, I'll be showing you all how to play against the Knight A6 variation. So let's start off with Knight to F3. This is not the original line to get the King's Indian setup, but it is basically a side line to get it so. Knight f6, c4, g6, knight c3, bishop e, g7, e4, d6, d4, castles, bishop e2, e5, castles, and the whole purpose of the video that I'm making, knight to a6. We can now knight to a6 can also be played before pawn to e5. Instead of pawn to e5, we can play knight to a6. Another possibility. The basic plan of, or the idea behind knight to a6 is that, like black says that, uh, what is the use of knight on e7 or c, d7 or c6, and I can just exchange the pawns by e into d5 e to d4 and there will be no pressure on my pawns look to e1 c6 bishop f5 bishop g4 d5 knight b4 bishop e2 a5 b g5 Here, the end of the opening. Now I'll show you the game. Here, this game, like always, you have to learn what's the plan of the game. I'll show you the opening. From here onwards, you have to. I'll just show you all the plans and how to continue for white. F6, driving the bishop away. Bishop e3. Queen c7, h3, bishop into f3, bishop into f3. Here the white pieces are more active than blacks. The knight on b4 and f6 Run very good on the position as you can see the black knight on b4 can move only to one square while the black knight can only go backwards and moves like knight to h5 and g4 are possible and the bishop on g7 also is not contributing to black's position Me? E5, look at F1, Queen E7, shifting the king, Queen to the king side. Now the queen has no work to do in the queen side, so it's bringing the queen to the king side for attack. Queen to D2, King H7, putting the pawn on H6, which is attacked by the Queen to D2. Rook R A E1, Knight to A6, Bishop D1, Knight C7, G3, Knight D7, Bishop C2, Knight B6, Bishop D3, Queen D7, King G2, Knight A4, Rook D1, allowing Black to capture the Knight, and after Queen into yeah after knight into b 
back this time and do C3 like an elder capture with ball and open the V1 side and have to play with a double pawn when still the black shows FB8 Bishop C2 attacking the knight on A4 L into C3 B into C3 in the open file as I mentioned before A4 Rook B6 Rook A7 Rook FB1 Knight A8 Rook 6 B5 B6 F4 6 5 G5 that is just trying to make an hole inside the position and black blocks the ball from exchange. After if white tries to exchange the points by H to G5 and after to G5 and King moves to G8. The full H8 track will be under black control. Look at H1. G8, RB1, Rook A6, Rook G F1, Queen D8, Queen D1, and to maneuver the Queen to H5, A3, Bishop A4, Knight C7, Bishop C6, King F7, Queen H5 check, King G8, Rook B1, Queen B8, Queen G6, Queen F8, H into G5, F into G5, Bishop into G5, H into G5, Rook into H8, King into H8, Rook H1, King G8, Queen H7, King F7, F6, Queen H8, Queen F5. A splendid and splendid ending by White over here. You can clearly see how White sacked the piece after Bishop into G5. I hope you all like the game. If you like it, please like, share, and comment this video. And subscribe to our channel, JPLHS. Thank you.